Young boy, come quick. My new television special is coming on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I almost forgot. Shh, it's starting. We now return to When Giant Attacks. Hmm, this doesn't seem right. Tonight, we take a look at the world's most hated D-list celebrity, Giant. We have breaking new footage of the monster's wanton destruction, as well as new interviews with the host, me, Gerald Rivers. Be warned, the footage you're about to see is highly disturbing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Angel from heaven, please save me. Well, that was important. Oops. What a monster. Thank God no one was inside. Here are some reactions from eyewitnesses. We were scared. He ate all my trees. It took forever at evergreens. He said he'd grind my bones to make his bread. I mean, what am I supposed to say to that? Am I supposed to live in fear? I mean, this guy lives out in the woods where he can't hurt anybody. I mean, why can't he just stay there? He stopped me on my smoke break and he, he blew out my cigarette and he said, smokers are jokers. I mean, who does he think he is, my Uncle Jessup? It is a proven fact that smokers are indeed jokers, young boy, so you shouldn't smoke. I tried to get to the bottom of this monster's true intentions. When it was discovered that I am the last of my kind, the giants, people didn't know what to do with me. They didn't want to be bothered by the burden of my needs, so they put me out in the woods to fend for myself. And how does that make you feel? Well... I mean, there are times when I get quite upset about it, but... Revenge. The true motivation for this monster's crimes. And now, things get worse. There have been recent allegations that the giant is currently living with and... Wow. I can't believe that giant did that. Young boy, they're twisting the truth, making me look like a monster. I mean, they've said they'd edit those parts out. Well, I mean, it's not like you didn't do it. It's not the point, young boy. Everyone's being led to believe that I'm some sort of giant freak. Even you. You have no idea how hard it is being a giant. How I wish I could be normal for just one day. Do you have issues, things about yourself that you really want to change? Because I really want to help. Come on down to my shop. We've got great deals on potions. Weight loss potions, love potions, size changing potions, but like you really need help with any of that. Hmm. Young boy, go find the clerk. I don't want to hop in it, Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? I can't. I'm so busy helping all the other customers. I was just looking for some of that anti-freak potion. Young boy! I assume it's for you and not your freak friend over there. My good man, as you can see, I have something of a size problem. And I'd really like something that would make me normal size for the day. I didn't notice your size problem. Really? Most people notice it right away. Yeah, well, I can't see very well. I forgot to put my eyes in. But I got what you need. Drink this and wait a few hours. You're gonna want to be in a safe place before. Are you sure you want to go through with this? I have my reservations. Well, I'm sure everyone else wants you to do it, so bottoms up. But be warned. This is no ordinary potion. It is an ancient Mayan harvesting potion they used on seas so they could have more room for more plants on their fields. But what they didn't know was that when the potion wears off, it wears off with explosive results. How do you think the Mayans died? I 
I was being sarcastic. Oh, sarcasm. I, I got you. Whew. Bottoms up. Not bad. Kind of tangy, actually. By the way, do you have any more of these goblets? It's impossible for me to find stuff like this my size. Not for sale. Alright, young boy. I don't know what's going to happen to me, but I want you to stay here for the night, alright? In the morning, come and find me at these coordinates. Goodbye, old friend. I'll find you in the morning. I hope. Have fun, giant. Good luck not being a freak. 4,993, 4,990. Oh, darn it. I just keep losing count. There's just so many stars in this vast existence of the universe. I guess I'll just start over then. One, two, three, four! Son of a biscuit! I'm burning up! I'm burning up! so thin down here. Everything looks so strange. Well, I guess I'll salvage some clothes from my coat. <laughs> Young boy! Over here! Come quickly! Oh. Oh. Giant, you're like, you're my size now. What the hell? I what know, happened? young boy. I'm frightened. Well, don't worry, man. We're gonna have a great day now that you're my size. Let's go! I think we've done a lot today. Is there anything else you want to do? Well, I've never been to a fancy restaurant. I've always wanted to go to one, though. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. So, how's it like to be normal for a day? I really wish you'd stop saying it like that, young boy. 
Whatever. I'm just so young and impressionable that TV got the best of me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But how was it really? Well, I don't know. I, I feel great fitting in, but I miss being different. You know? Uh, I don't follow you. Well, you know, young boy, when you change part of yourself to fit in, you lose part of yourself. I mean, the only true way to be normal is to be yourself. I miss being a giant, but more importantly, I miss being THE giant. And I wouldn't change that for anything. You know, that's really cool, but, um, you still cause a lot of destruction. Well, it looks like I'm just gonna have to be a little bit more careful. <gasps> Sinking to a new low, Giant used dark magic to infiltrate a restaurant to cause a surprising amount of destruction. Sarcastic Skeleton had this to say when asked of his involvement. Oh yeah, because I really planned for it to happen this way. I really hate doing these shows, but whatever pays the bills, I guess. <laughs> Maybe one of these shows right here will allow people to finally accept you. Young boy, there's a giant chance that'll never happen. <laughs> <laughs>